What's going on, folks? Happy Sunday to you. Happy, uh, what time is it? Afternoon already. <clears throat> Man, the morning goes fast. Gentlemen, I gotta tell you, if you don't do yoga, the ladies know, a lot of the ladies know, the yoga will whoop your ass. So get out there and do some yoga. I got my ass kicked this morning. Yoga instructor almost killed me. I think I lost six pounds of water. Sweat my ass off. Power yoga, that stuff that they put the heat on, it's like 100 degrees in there. It's pretty wild. Mm. So do that yoga. Trust me. Trust me. The yoga is a killer. You guys are missing out if you're not doing the yoga. The yoga will whoop your ass. All right. So I got a couple great things to go over with you guys. Uh, I want to talk about a, uh, a deal that we closed. Here we go. And, and he's on already. Look at this. I want to introduce a team member. Now. Talk about, he should be coming on in a second. I want to talk about doing deals. I want to talk about building good teamwork. What's up, Dylan Mills? Everybody What's say hi on? to Dylan Mills. Give a round of applause. Raise your hand. Anyone who knows Dylan, go ahead and comment below if you know Dylan. Make sure you say hi. What's up, Dylan? What's Welcome going on, guys? Us. How's everyone doing? doing? What's up, man? So I want to get into it real quick. I want to talk to the team about it. I'm going to talk to everybody about what we're going to talk about real quick is um, team building, teamwork, the ability to build that culture within the business, right? Um, Dylan's been with us for, what, about three months now, Dylan? Two and a half, three months? Yeah, about three months or so, yep. About three months, okay. So... Uh, so Dylan's been with the crew for about three months. Um, Dylan's been able to build out a, a, a really strong independent business of his own within the company in that last two and a half, three months. And uh, so I wanted to get him on the, on the program here to talk about um, the team that he's trying to build individually, uh, the team of people that he's trying to build out to help grow your business. So folks that are in the local South Jersey market, um, the way that Dylan can add value, because part of our core values, folks, is to add value to others, right? We have a concept in our office Dylan, Dylan, what's the concept? You know what I'm about to say. We want to create value equals opportunity. So we want to create right. value so you can have more opportunity to grow your business. That's basically what we're looking to do for you. 100%. 100%, right? So, so when we're growing a team, we always are looking out for other people within the team, right? Nothing is selfish within the team. Whether that happens to be an executive level, whether it's an employee within the company, right? Every one of us has a common goal to reach. I'm sorry, has a, has a, has a goal within our individual structure to reach a common goal as a team, right? And we're trying to build a team outside of our, of our office, right? So Dylan is actually in the uh, acquisitions role, right? So Dylan's job is to go out there and help the team buy properties. And tell me a little bit about, tell, uh, Dylan, tell the folks a little bit about um, how you create um, opportunity for others and create value for others when you're out there building a team. What kind of people do you do, do business with? So who I'm looking for is I'm looking for anybody in the South Jersey area. If you're a realtor, if you're a wholesaler, basically anybody looking to sell real estate in the South Jersey area, whether it be Burlington County, Gloucester County, or Camden County, I'm looking to add value to your business. As a realtor, what I'm looking to do is put more money in your pocket by giving you the buy, the sell, and most times I try my best to always give you the realist as well. Um, yep. Meaning if you have a listing, uh, bring it over to me. And a lot of times I'll give you the buy and the sell, but I can also give you a 1% bonus. So not only can Absolutely. I already put 6% in your pocket on the, you know, right away, which is double what you're going to make anyway, I can give you that 1% bonus and nine and a half times out of 10, you're going to get the realist as well. So you're putting Absolutely. more money in your pocket. You can two X, three X, and even oftentimes four X your revenue and your business by working with me rather than just putting the house in the market and hoping it sells shoot things over in my direction before you even put it on the MLS, before you even, you know, take that step, I can have it off your books before you even have to go and market it. So it's, it, it adds value to your business. It's it allowing you to grow and make more money. hundred percent. Plus they're saving marketing dollars, right? They're saving effort. A lot of the times these sellers don't want people traipsing through their house. They don't want to deal with showings. They don't want to have to worry about having people come through and, you know, make offers with contingencies and work through all that process. You know, you as the agent uh, on the end side can actually just bring a buyer right from the gate, right from Jump Street, right? You can go on the listing appointment and talk about how you have a buyer in your pocket, right? And you've had that happen, right, Dill? Oh, absolutely. I've gotten deals before they even hit the market, and it saves so much struggle, so much hassle for so many realtors. They get more money in their pocket, and they, they do essentially sound silly. You're doing less work, and you're making more money. We take care of everything. Yeah. Well, once we get that house under contract, once we have that house, you guys, it, it, you can wipe your hands of it until we're done rehabbing it and until you oftentimes get the realist. We take care of 
closing coordination. We take care of ordering title. We take care of all CO inspections. It's really just a matter of bringing me the property and I take over the rest for you and you put more money in your pocket. You know what? I'm smiling because I actually forget some of the value that we bring. I actually forget that when we put the thing under contract, the realtor kind of walks away and doesn't have to do anything. I forgot that, guys, we have an in-house you know, processing department, uh, listing coordinator, closing coordinator. We take over the project once we put it under contract. So, I mean, really, Dylan, you're right. The realtor goes on that listing appointment, could potentially put the thing under contract and do nothing until the day it closes. And we're also going to give them that 1% bonus at the end. Right. right? So this is the thing, right? I think that the challenge is we have a lot of people say to us, like, why would you do all this? Right. Um, and, and the interesting thing is we're, we're an abundance philosophy company, right? We want to create more money for more people. Uh, I want, I want everyone to, I want everyone to win. Right. Exactly. And I think that's the main issue is I think there's not enough people out there who, who are willing to help and want to see other people grow. So when we, Sell, not sell, I don't even like saying sell, but when we pr promote this idea of making more money, I think it makes people a little bit lenient because not many people do this. I don't know of anybody who's trying to reach out to me and grow my business and 3x my revenue. Everyone's usually sure. out for themselves. We're here to help you. We're solutionists. We're here to put more money in your pocket just because we genuinely want to see you do better. I love that. And the other thing is too, guys, right? So so we, we own a REMAX office. It's no secret, but Dylan, name some of the other brokerages that you've done uh, uh, joint venture deals with where you've put money in other people's, uh, you know, other brokerages' pockets. What are some of the other brokerages? A couple of them is uh, HomeSmart. I've done a couple of deals with HomeSmart, Century 21, uh, Weikert. I've dealt with most of the most of the brokerages in our local area, and, yeah. and, and I give them both ends of the deal. I'm putting more money in the yeah. pocket. I just did a deal with, um, with a buddy of mine that I know real well, Robert Punis, and he's mm -hmm. over with uh, – Kelly Williams, I think, isn't he? Keller Williams. Keller yeah. Williams. And, and we're giving them both ends of the deal. We just got a nice property over in Atco that we're rehabbing. And, uh, yep, and Rob gets the relist on that, right? Absolutely, yep. He's going to be getting more money in his pocket that way. And uh, he brought me the deal. Uh, it wasn't even his listing. So remember that as well. It doesn't need to be your, li your listing if you're bringing me the property. I'm giving 100%. him the buy, and he's also going to get the, re the relist on that one. If he has a buyer, then you know he can make 9% on one deal. If, yep. if it all works out well for him, but no matter yep. what, he's definitely getting 6%. And remember that back end, when we're done relisting it, you're getting top dollar for your property. You're not getting yep. a relist at 50 grand. If you bring a property to me for 50 grand, you're going to get a relist at 150, 160. You're going to get it for top dollar in that market. And it's going to be a yep. great listing. We do fantastic craftsmanship and great work. And we really deliver top quality homes. So, they go quick, guys. I mean, it, things are off the books in days once we put them on the market. Yeah, I think that's one of the other good, the other good value adds. I mean, you're working with one of the best ops teams in South Jersey. These guys are doing 60, 70 deals a year uh, minimum, right? So they're, they're able to, to easily turn these deals over. And then these, uh, these agents get the opportunity to relist our product, right? So I think that's, that's another you know, uh, misnomer is they think that somehow our team is going to take back the listings. I mean, look. If our team finds the listings, of course, they're out there listing. Heather's out there putting the things back on the market and selling deals. Um, but if they find us the deal, they're getting the relist, right? Oh, absolutely. And it, it, everything is so convenient. It really works out best for the realtor bringing me the listings because I really like to elaborate on the fact on how easy it is. Once you get that house to me and we buy it, we're three-week close, three to four weeks max. We have a great mm -hmm. relationship with the title company we use, Shorty Title. And mm – -hmm. We use them. We're quick. We use cash and everything is out of your you know, mind. You don't have to deal with anything once everything's all said and done. I mean, the convenience and efficiency that we have to offer is just, you know, profound. It's not something you can find anywhere else. And I think we close sooner half the time. But the problem is that the, uh, the banks don't don't want us to. <laughs> A lot of times we're buying bank owned deals. Right. And they want 45 days out. No, I think the team definitely can be efficient. So, so let's talk about teamwork for a second. So we, we talked about the value add piece. We know what we're trying to build as far as your extended network, uh, which by the way, if you guys are local and you're realtors or investors, wholesalers, and you're not already connected with Dylan, you, you absolutely have to send him a PM after this. Uh, after this. And by the way, guys, you see value here, hit it the thumbs up and then, you know, let us know that, that you're watching. Um, do you have any questions along the way? You know, post the questions below. We'll answer them live. We'll talk about what's happening within the business. Um, but, but Dylan, I want to expand a little bit on the team itself, teamwork. So you're building your network outside of the individual team. 
but what's your experience with with our culture with inside the office and you know what you've what you've learned in the short period of time you've been there oh my i i, I didn't have much of a real estate background just a few months ago and i already feel like I can provide more knowledge to people who have been in the industry for 20, 30 years. Some people are learning from me just because yeah. of the collaborative teamwork that we have in the office. We all work together every single day. I mean, just the other day, I was actually in the midst of pro purchasing a property in West Effort. Everything looked great and something just, I, I wanted to get out there and take a second look at everything. So our, CO, our COO, Mark Ritchie and I went out and walked the property, got some pictures, looked at the specs. Everything looked good. We got back to the office and I spoke to our uh, project manager. And once we went through and broke down the numbers, things were just too tight. So I really was happy because that was a big team, teamwork, collaborative effort between everybody sure. sitting down and just realizing that it was, although everything looked good on paper, it just wasn't making sense once we started writing down numbers and, and really breaking it down. So it's, it's a matter of sitting and working together and creating solutions, not only for realtors, but even for ourselves. We find out that we may be making the wrong decision. And it's all because we're all very, very close with how we work. And we run everything together. And we, we make sure we network and, and connect and communicate the right way. Yeah, and I mean, I mean, you got it. You have a you have a great background. I mean, you have a degree, almost a degree in finance, right? So I mean, you, you got the numbers game locked down, which I think is, uh, you know, adds to why you're so smart with with getting these deals put together, you know, as far as being able to educate and stuff like that. But, you know, besides the fact that you, you've really been good at networking, building these people, building the team that you're working with. I mean, you've gotten how many deals wrapped up in two and a half months? Oh, boy. I think it's a little it's pushing about 30 houses in just the past couple of months. It's it's crazy. We, I came in, we had a lot of projects going on already, but now, I mean, I work with the project manager every day and we, we talk and he goes, wow, I can't believe we got all these projects going on. And he's grateful for it, but it's crazy. We went from having, I think, 10 houses or something to mm -hmm. almost 35 or so, 40. And it's yeah. only, you know, it's pushing August, which I can't believe it's already yeah. August, but it's crazy. And I mean, the goal at the beginning was how many, how, like the first month, I think your goal was to do what, six or eight, something like that? I think I was, my my first week or first few weeks was to get like six houses, I think, in the first month. And mm -hmm. we wound up getting, I think, 15 that month. So it really <laughs> went out, it went well. It went very well. <laughs> so, what, so what's the goal now? Like, what's the goal for August? What's the goal for the month? What are you trying to lock up? For August, I'm trying to get about 15 more properties, uh, try to continue to move with that momentum and continue to grow the same way that we're going and um, get some stuff assignable and try to do some different things to grow our revenue stream and cash flows and all that. And uh, sure. try to get as much going as we possibly can over the next month. 15 is my goal, but that doesn't mean we can't buy 30. So, I mean, it's yeah. really just a matter of getting as much in as we can. Uh, okay. So you guys got to PM me and give me some uh, houses, give me some addresses. My goal is to try to get it off your books before it's even on your books. If you're getting your inventory sent to you a lot of times these reo properties you're getting them sent 24 hours in advance i actually had a really productive business meeting with um brian cortez a, a fantastic wholesaler in the south jersey area he's out of burlington county i believe uh yeah, brian's that, dude. yeah he's awesome brian's a man uh, i sat down with brian and his partner and his partner is a realtor as well she gets a 24-hour heads up for a lot of her listings and we're going to start working together and and getting those off her books before she even has the listing. So it, it works out fantastic for you yeah. as a realtor. You don't have to market the marketing dollars and the, all that kind of effort that you have to put into promoting the property. It's in your best interest to work with me and just not have to do all of that. I mean, essentially, 100%. I wish I had somebody coming to me telling me, let me grow your business without you having to do anything more than you already are doing. You're doing the same thing you're doing every day, but you're putting more money in your pocket. Yeah, absolutely. And dude, so so who's who's a perfect example of someone that you want to meet with this week and uh, take out to get some coffee and talk about doing business? Give me give me a perfect example of someone who's doing business right now that you want to talk to and figure out how you can help them grow their business to the next level. The perfect person that I'd like to speak with is anybody who's getting REO properties, anybody who's working with estate sales, anybody who's got anything coming to market within the next couple of weeks, within the next 24 hours. If you know that you're getting large lists of these properties that you're having a hard time selling off a lot of times, more times than not, I can make an offer and make a pretty good offer for that property. So if you're an REO agent, if you're an agent who gets a lot of estate sales, or even if you're just a normal residential agent who gets properties that need some work, I want you to give me a 
a message and we can meet for coffee. I'd love to sit down and really communicate, talk to you about our investment strategy and get to break things down for you. I've done it for, with many people and awesome. it really answers a lot of questions that you may have, a lot of things that you may be questioning with the process. You know, why is it this easy? How is it that easy? Anything that you have question wise, I can, I can oftentimes answer your question or find the right person to answer that question. So really anybody who's getting listings and you don't yeah. even need to be getting listings. If you have somebody who you know is getting all kinds of houses and you're not, if you're a buyer's agent, I mean, yeah. hit me up, hit me up. If sometimes you, it, if you have listings that you're seeing coming through before anyone else, push them in my direction and I can make something happen for you. Put more money, more money. hundred percent. Hey, I want to add one more thing just as an asterisk guys, and especially if you're in the real estate space, you know, I own, I own Remax and so forth. This is not a recruiting pitch. I have no interest in recruiting you to the office. Look, if you love the culture and you want to talk about it after working with Dylan, that's fine. But that's not what it's all about. It's not what we're interested in. I'm happy paying out commissions to every brokerage in South Jersey. The commission is not what we're after. We're after doing the flip. We're after doing, the, uh, you know, keeping the business running, keeping the ops team on, on board, um, keeping everybody making money. And we're all about abundance. I want everybody to get paid. Uh, so does Dylan. And so, you know, don't think because you meet with Dylan, it has something to do with Remax. That has nothing to do with it. Um, we are completely detached. Uh, not completely. I mean, shit, we work in the same office, but, um, you know, no one here is to pitch you on Remax. That's not what we're here for. Um, if that's a separate conversation you want to have, um, you know, we're happy to discuss that, but that's not what it's all about. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, cool. All right, Dylan, anything else you want to add? Anybody have any questions for Dylan right now? Anybody want to talk about that type of stuff? Make sure you hit me up with a DM or hit Dylan up with a DM. Love to do business with you guys, especially in the South Jersey, Philadelphia area. If you have deals that are anywhere else in the country, you know, send me a PM and let's talk about it. We have connections all over the country. My mastermind group touches everywhere from California to New Jersey. So um, if you guys want to talk about um, building relationships, helping you with your real estate business, I don't care what it is. My team's here. And by the way, this is the first of many interviews this week. I want to talk about a lot of things, but I want to start bringing my team on. I want you guys to start meeting the team. I want you to start interacting with the team. I want you to start realizing that we are building a Super Bowl winning team and guys like Dylan are the reason why we kick ass each and every day, even when I'm not there. That's what it's all about. These guys getting out there and doing their own thing and being fucking super successful at it. So I'm super proud of this guy. He's been, he's been an amazing uh, acquisitions guy for us so far, and he's going to take it to a whole nother level in the next couple months. So um, round of applause for Dylan. I think, thank you uh, so much for being on with us, dude. I appreciate it, Joe. You're the man. Everything is, uh, much appreciated on my end as well. I love the team. I love the culture. Uh, I couldn't feel any more blessed going to work every single day. I love it. Awesome, man. Awesome. Hey, so uh, one last thing before I go, guys. We did a big deal on Friday. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about it because all these gurus in the real estate space talk about how they do these big-ass deals and make these big-ass checks. We left the table with $300,000 on Friday, and I'm going to do a whole entire breakdown on why that deal was not as special as you all want to find out. So I could flash that $300,000 check and talk about how I'm a guru, or I can give you the real, real, real deal on it. If you want to see that, make sure you comment below, and I'll hook you guys up with a link. We'll go do a private chat, and we'll talk about that deal, and uh, we'll talk about why $300,000 is not always what it's cut out to be. So talk to you guys soon. Appreciate you, Dylan. See you Later, tomorrow. guys. Later.